and girls in honor of this week's science lesson um, about seeds that you should be journaling um, according to Mrs. Zielinski's picture of her seeds and doing the science activities. I have a book here called Jack's Garden by Henry Cole. So that's what seeds are all about is growing things in a garden. And it's going to be a repetitive book. So as I read, you might notice the words repeating themselves and you can join in. This is the garden that Jack planted. So in this book, they're labeling the different things that he uses in his garden, like a watering can and a hoe and pruning shears and what else we got here garden claw a rake a trowel a hose those are all things that he uses in his garden and i use in my garden this is the soil that made up the garden that jack planted so now they're showing you the types of things that you find in the soil all the different bugs and the worms and larva which is bugs to be these are the seeds that fell on the soil that made up the garden that Jack planted. So now they're listing a bunch of different seeds you can plant. And they've got lupine seeds, phlox seeds. Phlox are my, one of my favorite flowers that I like to have in my yard. Dianthus seeds, I've got one of those plants. Hollyhock seeds, poppy seeds, sunflower seeds, milkweed seeds. So all the different seeds you can plant in your garden. This is the rain that wet the seeds that fell on the soil that made up the garden that Jack planted. So now they're showing you the different kinds of clouds that give you the different types of rain. Sometimes we have a soft rain. Sometimes we have a pelting rain. Sometimes it's coming down in buckets. These are the seedlings that sprouted with the rain that wet the seeds that fell on the soil that made up the garden that Jack planted. So now all those little plants that he, all those little seeds he put in the ground are now turning into little sprouts. And they're all gonna look different to make different plants. These are the plants that grew from the seedlings that sprouted with the rain that wet the seeds that fell on the soil that made up the garden that Jack planted. And now your plants are becoming bigger. Got a praying mantis in there. And some other bugs, fireflies, stink bug. I bet some of you get stink bugs in your house. These are the buds that formed on the plants that grew from the seedlings that sprouted with the rain that wet the seeds that fell on the soil that made up the garden that Jack planted. So once your plant starts to grow, you get little buds. Those are the beginnings of the flower or the fruit or the plant that's going to grow. These are the flowers that blossomed from the buds that formed on the plants that grew from the seedlings that sprouted with the rain that wet the seeds that fell in the soil that made up the garden that Jack planted. So now you can see what those flowers actually look like. So we've got black eyed Susans. I love those. I'm going to plant those in my garden. Lupine. These are geraniums. Yarrow. Mullen. Coreopsis. Some bee balm. These are the insects that sipped nectar from the flowers, that blossomed from the buds, that formed on the plants, that grew from the seedlings, that sprouted with the rain, that wet the seeds, that fell on the soil, that made up the garden that Jack planted. Very important. If we didn't have these insects we wouldn't have the plants and the flowers that we have they bounce from flower to flower spreading the pollen that allows the plant to grow and get their blooms these are the birds that chase the insects that sipped nectar from the flowers that blossomed from the buds that formed on the plants that grew from the seedlings that sprouted with the rain that wet the seeds that fell on the soil that made up the garden that jack planted so I'm sure you've noticed birds flying around. So they've got a couple, few different birds here. They've got a robin, a bluebird, and each bird has its own 
egg and it looks different. Different colors, different sizes. And this is the garden that Jack planted. And look how beautiful it is. A garden is made up of not just the plant, but the insects and the birds. They all work together. So Mrs. Zielinski has shown you the progress of her lima bean seed, but you can do the same thing with any seed. You can take the seed out of your tomato, out of your apple, out of your orange. You can take any seed and watch it grow. And maybe you can plant your own garden like Jack.